I am really honoured to stand here today for my first address to the House um, and also be the first person from Knocknahealy and Cork, um, a community that I am proud to represent and my family are proud to live in. Um, I suppose I want to thank everyone who supported me in my journey through politics, everyone who supported me in the election, my members, party supporters, my family, my friends, my club, um, and the people of Cork North Central who voted for me. I particularly want to thank my wife Michelle and our daughters Eve and Nora, and my two sisters Sharon and Noreen, but especially my father Tony, who is a great man and a brilliant mentor. Unfortunately, my mother passed away 27 years ago, but I know she would be really proud that her only son was elected as a TD. And so I just want to sincerely thank everyone who has voted for me. Um, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. The people of Cock North Central, I believe, have been neglected and abandoned for far too long. With a lack of infrastructure, Northern Ring Road, hospitals, a cri housing crisis and a health crisis. And I will do everything in my power to fight for the constituents of Cock North Central, whether it's the city or the county, the north or the south side. And today I stand here to ask the Minister a question from the people of Cock North Central about the Debenhams workers. And I suppose what I would like to ask Minister is have you or the Minister for Enterprise, Business and Innovation contacted Debenhams Ireland and asked them to reopen the stores when the appropriate time is ready and to keep their workers in employment. Because Debenhams have announced this initiative in the UK to reopen the vast majority of their stores and to keep their workers, staff working. And what I'm saying is if Debenhams refuse to reopen the stores, then I think they have to guarantee the workers the redundancy they're entitled to and they have to negotiate with the union a fair and proper redundancy package. For me, if Debenhams get away with what they're doing now, they will set a precedent. And my worry is that I will be in this chamber speaking on behalf of thousands, if not tens of thousands of more workers. Thank you, Deputy. Sorry. I would just, I appreciate your indulgence and I will conclude with this. The de workers of Debenhams have been treated terribly and it's time for this government and for you, Minister, to tell Debenhams and all employers out Thank there you. You, that the workers will not be the collateral Deputy, damage in this crisis. Deputy, Thank you. Sorry, no, but we just... Thank you.